all right you guys so i am making like well honestly it was supposed to be like barbecue chicken and vegetables over rice but it came out like a stew um so that's just what we'll go with i'm making a stew okay um all right it reminds me of in max and ruby when one episode the grandfather was like i'm particularly fond of beef stew that always stuck with me okay so i'm putting the onions after they're chopped in this little bowl and then some mushrooms, which are already sliced. Put And I had to transfer them to a bigger bowl. Some Brussels sprouts. I just had to use them up. And then some olive oil. Then some salt and pepper. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And then, <laughs> look, it looks so beautiful. Brussels sprouts last a while in the fridge, huh? Okay, so now I got frozen chicken, of course. Boom, boom. All right, pretty frozen. Um, now I got this Near East rice pilaf. Fill in the bowl, not the bowl, the pot with water. Now it's time to go in, but it's like, why do they separate the spice packet if it's all going the same place? I don't get it. I mean, wouldn't you want it to marinate in spice? And of course I'm struggling here, and you're gonna be like, why are you using metal on the pan? Listen, I'm not touching the pan with it. It's a freaking ice cube of chicken. It's not even going through. All right, so he's up. Okay, so I'm putting some of this hickory smoked barbecue sauce. It's not Sweet Baby Ray's, but I wanted to try it. All right, and plus it was really cheap. Then look at it. Obviously, it's too much for that. So I have to transfer it to a bigger pot. Uh, well, that was just what was clean, hence this turning into stew. Um, so now I'm putting more in, because I'm like, yeah, stews, they gotta simmer. You gotta have some liquids to simmer, so... I don't know, it sounded right. So, uh, yeah. That's, that's what's going on here. Um, and then I started having to, like, um, break it apart. The, oh, I don't know why I showed that. But anyways, um, it's, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of breaking the chicken apart. It got very tender this way, I will say that. It got very tender. It tasted like crockpot chicken. Um, not quite, but very close. Um, okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm breaking up the chicken in there. It looks pretty good so far. I mean, it still needs to cook more, obviously, but it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right, so I'm just gonna put the cover on, wait a little bit. Got some rice. It's been a while now. Um, and now I am scooping it out. It, it was really good. Um, it was really good. I forgot about the leftovers, and I regret it because it was so good. I uh, hope you had a good night. Goodbye. We're cooking vegan dogs and unicorn mac and cheese. This is what the dogs look like. Mac. Oh, this is Baby Shark. You threw me off. Yeah. One unicorn. Ah, it's boiling over. <laughs> looks like a witch's brew. It looks. Just check it. <laughs> Bon appetit. I got the turkey in there. Three fourths cup of warm water. Half a cup of soy sauce. It really says red wine vinegar, but I don't have any. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. And some minced garlic. Coconut oil. Yellow peppers, fresh garlic, and orange peppers. It's not brown enough. I need some onion powder. Oh, that's good. Rice noodles. I just want to show you it up close. It's like transparent. All right, you guys, so I know I tried this trick before, but my husband said I was supposed to leave the top of the pepper intact when I try this little doohickey trick thing, and uh, I didn't, so I'm gonna try it this way. Listen, I got the pepper, there's some garlic on there, whatever. I washed it, I'm just cutting, uh, not to the bottom, just, like, almost to the bottom on every, like, crease of the pepper, there we go, and my husband said I'm supposed to, like, pull it apart, so that's what I'm gonna try... And it worked! Look at that, look at that, look! We are gonna be making, um, this shrimp ramen with some veggies. Um, also this, um, picante, picante chicken flavor. So we're gonna use some, uh, onions, which, by the way, these are the diced onions that I wanted to see how long they would last in the fridge. Um, cause I don't like cutting up onions and, um, they were only three dollars, I think, maybe even a little less. Um, they ended up, um, lasting, like, they're still good. Mushrooms, Bella mushroom, some garlic. I forget if I said this, but peppers. You when you scrap bag going? Um, I can get one for the compost. Peppers and onions. No, you don't have to use them, Mom. I was just kidding. Well, I fed you the stem, and I don't think you ever noticed. <laughs> I'm putting the ramen in. <laughs> My husband likes it uh, more mushy. 
Did you like it when I cooked it that way? No, I still like it. I still like it anyway. What's your Thank you, cat. Like? Harder. But we don't have to do I'll this. don't I'm eating raw. I really don't wanna. Do you need the lid? Yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I need the lid. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, can I just have those? Six. So I'm just gonna, you know, spice them up. I'm gonna put the uh, ramen in the, you know, the vegetable pan. Hey, no, come here. Oops, oops, my bad. Alright, you guys, so I saw somebody do this, like, pepper cutting trick. So I want to see if it really works. So I'm gonna try it. I saw this on the Facebook watch thing. My husband introduced me to that. So we're gonna try it. So you just start from the middle and you just cut down. Oh wait, no, first I gotta cut off this. My bad. Okay, I think I already did it wrong, but we're, so down there, and then you cut like just all along the sides. Choo -choo. These are some juicy peppers. They look good, I couldn't resist. Let's see if it worked. No! It doesn't work! <laughs> um, I wait, think wait! I thought you were supposed to cut down the, or cut down the sides and then pull it apart. Yeah, I did that. That's what I did. You cut the top off look, and then pulled it apart. Look, it kind of works, but it needs some reshaping. Oh my god, whoops. Wrong bag. I mean, I don't know. I like my peppercorn better, but... I have these leftover, um, what are they called? They're the Brazilian cheesy bread. I can tell my son got a hold of this avocado because it has a giant hole in it. So let's just hope he did not put anything poisonous in it. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. That's as thin as I could get it. Minced garlic and adobo just because I put it on everything. Gorgeous. Nick, so you can see it, but oh my god, I'm excited to try it. Bob. I didn't know if this would be good, honestly, but this is really good. You guys, the dehydrated hot dogs for Rosie are almost done. We're using them um, as treats. Um, she gets regular treats, too, but can I show them up close? So these have been dehydrating for how long? I don't know, 12 hours. 12? No, longer than that. Because we did... 6, 9, 15. 15 hours. So they're so dry, and you want them really dry because less bacteria, you know, gets in them and they can preserve for longer or be preserved. But look, you can see the tear. And she loves them because I know my husband's been sneaking her some, but I just wanted to show you. <laughs> my husband has an android. My apologies. All right, you guys, I am making some roasted uh, tomato feta ziti thing that I got from this Mediterranean recipe book. Um, it doesn't have an author on it listed, so I can't, like, um, recommend an author, but it's a great book, uh, so far anyways. Um, so I'm um, just, like, reviewing it to make sure I know what to do. Um, all right, and of course, it didn't go exactly as planned, but you know listen it was still pretty good all right so i'm washing a pot because i didn't realize that i had no clean pot so that's what i'm doing in this moment um 
do do ba da 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 ba da 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 washing a boat oh yeah 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 washing a boat do 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 there we go got it filled with water okay now i'm gonna boil it i am peeling garlic um i usually do that trick with metal bowls that martha stewart does oh the ZD. um but uh i it just hasn't been working for me lately i was supposed to crush this but i put olive oil on it first so obviously that was not a good idea so i'm just having them and quartering some of them uh, i should have had more garlic um this garlic ended up turning out so good it was so good oh my god so now i'm just washing cherry tomatoes lining them in the you know pan and then we have a block of feta. It came apart, but that's fine. It's fine. I'm trying to put it back together like a puzzle, and I fail, but it's fine. So then I put some salt on it. Boop, boop, doo, doo. Then some pepper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I had to put it in the oven for, I think it was in total, 45 minutes. First at 400 for 30, and then 15 minutes at 450. Um, then some olive oil on top before I put it in. Honestly, this was, like, really good. It's just that I made, like, way too much ziti with it. Like, if if I had have had a better ratio, it would have been better. But it still was really good. Um, look at it. It looks beautiful. Wow, look at that browning on the fucking tomatoes. All right, so now I'm putting it all into the, uh, you know, pasta. And I didn't even have to drain the pasta because I put too much uh, pasta in. So I didn't even have to add water like you're supposed to. It was good, but I had way too much ziti in it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am making some lunch, um, so here we go. All right, I got some Bombay mix. It's like an Indian snack, I think, and then some iceberg lettuce, and then my husband portioned these uh, ground turkey things, and then I got some mushrooms I'm gonna saute. So here we go. Oh, and look what I got. Look what I got. A meat chopper. I found out the name. It's a meat chopper. Who gave this to me? Thank you so much. I don't know who gave it to me, but thank you so much. And it's red. Oh my god, I'm so excited to use it. I'm so excited to try it. So I'm opening it up. There we go. Do, 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 do. Opening it up. Opening it up. Opening up the meat chopper. It's such a simple name. I honestly thought it would have like a more unique name. <laughs> All right, some vegetable oil because I ran out of olive oil. We got to get more today. Um, by the way, our meat chopper is like more uh, prominent down south. I'm just asking that because I live in New England and I got some mushrooms I'm going to put in. My husband portioned those. Um, and I don't hear a lot about meat choppers. Um, I didn't learn about them until TikTok. So then I got this mac and cheese. It's a uh, frozen mac and cheese, not frozen, but like the movie frozen. Oh my God, this even chops up vegetables. Oh my God, are you kidding me? And it does it effortlessly. I love it. All right, so there I go, do, 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 do. Now I'm putting the uh, turkey in, and I'm going to put the other one in too. And Roman is just going to have one of the, uh, you know, the mac and cheeses. He asked for mac and cheese. So let's try this out. Oh, and I know it's going to work even better when everything is like almost cooked. There's Roman right now. All right, I'm going to put some onion powder in. Do, do. And then what's next? Some pepper. I love my salt and pepper shakers. There we go. And now some, oh, garlic powder. Did I say, I, I put onion and garlic powder, I think. Or maybe I did both garlic powder. I don't really know. Um, okay, and I just figured, hey, I got chives right here. Why not? You know what I mean? It was good. <laughs> so I put those in. Um, now I'm moving it into the, uh, you know, the dishes. Do, do, do. There we go. All right. Putting it in the dish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just trying to make it even. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right. I'm going to put some Bombay mix on top as well. Um, on mine, I put some ranch. My husband ate it as is. There it is. I got some mac and cheese on the side. All right. Hope you're having a good day. All right, you guys, I'm packing my lunch uh, for when uh, Roman has uh, his feeding specialist and um, what is the other OT. And um, all right, so I am opening up this Michelinas. Did I say it right? You know, those dollar meals. It's the steak. No, it's the beef, pepper, and onion one maybe, but it's still frozen. So I had to redo it, but it's all good now. So I'm putting it in the container. There we go. This is pretty much exactly what I had yesterday. All right. So there we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're trying to eat less fast food if you didn't uh, catch on. Okay, so now I got some uh, Daisy Sour Cream, which these squeeze pouches used to really gross me out, but um, they're very convenient. I gotta say, they really are convenient. All right, and I know you're gonna be like, you gotta heat those up first, and you're probably right, but I'm not going to. I mean, why can't I eat them without heating them up? I mean, it just tastes like stale cornbread. I mean, it's fine for now. <laughs> 
like I'm just gonna eat them like that. All right, so I put those in there and some tin foil. I was gonna put it in the uh, thing, but I didn't want it to touch the sour cream. I'm like, that's not a good idea. Um, so I decided against it. Um, so I'm just putting the cover on. There we go. I didn't have a sectional one uh, today, you know, a section thing. Put my fork in. I don't care if it touches the rice. Okay, some fresca, not my favorite, but it's there. Some cookie dough, Chobani flip. Hope you're having an awesome afternoon. I love y'all, kinda. Okay. okay, you guys, this is gonna be kind of like, uh, easy and a little bit of a bland dinner. I'm just making lemon pepper chicken, um, and a salad from, we made it, like, last night, and Roman's gonna help me out, but he kept sticking his fingers in the raw chicken, so I gotta be careful, uh, but he wants to help. So I got some olive oil, and I was gonna pour it in, but I thought, hey, maybe Roman will pour it in. And he did, and he did a fantastic job, I might add. Let's see. Doo -doo. All right, fantastic. A little much, but that is okay. So then I'm putting the things in, and then I quickly realize, wow, I should have got a bigger pan. Um, but I'm going to try to make it work. So I'm just going to really uh, try to shape shift these around like Jenga, try to find a way to make it fit. Roman's popping in to say hi, making sure I'm cooking his food okay, because by the way, he will eat this. Um, he uh, eats shredded chicken, so he will eat some of this. All right, so... I am, you know, just trying to rearrange them in a way that they'll still cook, but, uh, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. So I have to transfer it to a bigger pan. There we go, I'll fix in a minute. Um, so yeah, Roman will eat this as long as, like, I shred it up and there's nothing on it, um, he will eat it. Um, so I am organizing the fillets, organizing the fillets, there we go. Oh, oh, do 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 that's good enough. Okay, so then he's going to squeeze this fresh lemon on with me. He did a great job with that as well. Watch. He really does squeeze it out. Very impressed. He did fantastic. But then I realized, um, oh, wait, before I have my realization, I am going to flip these and, you know, just so they cook evenly, blah, 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 you know. Roman looks like he's like, that's disgusting. And I realized I accidentally put the lemon on his, so then I was, like, terrified he wasn't going to eat it, but he actually still did, even with lemon on, but I am putting some garlic powder and pepper, um, and, uh, yeah, so I need to make sure I leave his out and don't put it on his. Boop, boo, doo, doo, doo. Looks like I put it on every single one, honestly, so I, I don't know. Well, either way, he ate it, so <laughs> that's what it looks like. Got some balsamic vinaigrette to put on top of there, and there we go. Ooh, ooh, doo, 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 boo, 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 have a good night.